Hey guys, lots gone here today and welcome to a new series on Airport CEO. If you do follow me on Twitter, you would know that I posted a poll um, earlier this week actually asking out of a choice of four games which we should play. Um, Sim Airport was one of those choices, a game we have played before. Uh, Airport CEO was also a choice and Airport CEO won. So we're going to have a look at Airport CEO. I don't really want to go and compare it to Sim Airport. Um, it's sort of the same concept. It's still early access game. Uh, a little bit more to it. But we're just going to jump in, not compare it, and have a little see what's going on within this game. So we need to uh, actually look at doing our appearance. I think I'm going to pick this face. Um, I mean, that to be honest, that looks pretty good. See if we can just do lots gone, one name. We can, which is fine. Um, and then I also think I'm going to go for London area. Uh, why does a slap bang in the middle of London? I know that's probably not where the airport is. Well, it definitely isn't where the airport is. Um, or maybe we should go a little bit further out. Should we go for like here? Here? Go for there. I think we'll go for there. That that looks good. They confirm the location and then we've got a name at airport as well. So I'm gonna go for Lotscon International Airport. And then three letter code, we can just go L I A, which has got quite a nice ring to it. Um logos then there's not really that much i have had a little look at the game before yeah there's not really too much going on with logos i think we just stick to this um this planet one i think that's quite nice um difficulty level i do want to challenge but this is the first time i've actually got further um I went in and did like the first step of the tutorial to see, just get to use the the controls and everything, but I've not actually played the game. So I do want to go for easy, I think, just in case we um actually do end up failing. And that's not going to be very good straight on. Um, Sort of first episode of the series and we fail. But anyways, as we can see here, um, dear lots gone, thank you for our last meeting. I hope you like the new digs. I know it isn't much, but hopefully you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our town's proud airport. You've got a lot to work ahead. Uh, you better get used to it. Can't give you any tips because I don't really know how to run an airport. Great advice. Uh, but let me know. No, I don't even know where I'm getting this from at the moment. Uh, but let me remind you that you have a budget to keep and we can count on you to make profit. Two million. I think, I think we could um, keep within that budget. I must say, I do like the UI in this game. Um, it may be a little bit all over the place, but bearing in mind it's early access, they have put a lot of thought and effort into the UI and the actual um, aesthetic look of the game, which I, th I find really sort of pleasing from a, a simulation point of view going into a game. The UI is something that you're constantly using all the time, and it's it's laid out quite nicely. I think it could it could be improved a little bit, but... The fact that they've got all this sort of, they've got the shortcuts all in place telling you what can do what and sort of big arrows everywhere, all this up the side as well, all this down the bottom, I think it's quite nice. Uh, then we can go into our emails, have a quick look. So that's the letter we just read. Uh, we have unlocked a small airfield tutorial. That's the one I did last time. Well, I did the first step of that last time. I didn't actually complete it. I think we've also got a spam email here. Uh, we've got a golden opportunity. Good day, my name is Dr. William Monroe, a staff in the private client section of a well-known bank here in London. One of our accounts with holding balance of £15 million has been dormant and last operated three years ago. From my investigations, the owner of the said account, a foreigner by the name John Jamija, died in a plane crash in Birmingham. Since then, nobody's done anything as regards to claiming this money. I've decided to find a reliable foreign partner to deal with. Okay. 
I therefore propose to do business with you, standing in as the next of kin on these funds. Uh, transactions totally risk-free, apparently. Yep, heard that before. Um, <laughs> the, the next bit's quite funny. Uh, this transaction is totally free of risk and troubles as the fund is legitimate and does not originate from drug, money laundering, terrorism, or any other illegal act. Very convincing, I must say. On your interest, let me hear from you urgently, in big capital letters. Best regards, Dr. William Munro, Financial Analysis and Remittance Manager. We can't actually reply to that, which is a bit... I'm going to save that, though. I do like that. I like that. That's a... I'd not actually seen that before. Um, I didn't get that last time, so... It's quite a nice little sort of... Easter egg, uh, just sort of junk mail within your emails that you get. Obviously, it's a game. You can delete it, but it, it sort of adds to the realism aspect and uh, a little bit of fun in there as well. It's not just all, this is the game, this is the game. It's sort of reminding you that, you know, you're trying to replicate being a CEO and sometimes you do get spam emails. But we do need to go on to doing the tutorial and stop speaking about um, spam emails where we're not going to get £15 million. So... We're going to prepare for construction. To, uh, to proceed, please complete all the steps below. We need to have an operational contract to offload site. An uh, operational delivery site. We already have those. Just down at the bottom here. You can see on the left, I am moving it now. So we can see. Uh, so we need to sign a contract with a contractor. So if we can sign a building contract to go to the economy panel. Um, contracts. And we have two building um what's the difference one's more expensive i assume international construction company contractor to summoned via telephone okay um and the difference here sort of the same um Main field of operation is constructions with gigantic indoor spaces such as power plants, stadiums, and airports. Involved in some of the biggest structures in the world. You know what, I think we're going to go for um, Brickley. I know they're more expensive, but this is the first sort of time we're building the airport. I do think that it's probably worth having a good sort, um, a good contractor in that has experience of building big things before um, they will actually help us. So now we need to deploy the contract. So here we go. Operations panel, uh, construction tab. This is all quite uh, intricate and interesting. Something we'll have to look into later on. Um, but this is as far as I got last time. I deployed all. Can hear the little phone in the background just called. Um, and then I assume they turn up here. They did last time. And I would just have to wait for the contractors to arrive. Uh, and then we can start on step number two. We are going to speed up time then. Just so they arrive. Quite a lot of them. Was expecting a little bit less. Um, it does mean now that we have to go out and plan our airport though. So... What do we need to do? We need to build a small runway. Okay, we took that in for a little bit. Just so we can see. A uh, small runway then. Where are we going to look at putting that? I think. Um, ooh. We could rotate it. We could put it, uh, say, here. Yeah, I think maybe down here for the time being. I think that's probably the best place to start. I do like as well that you can unlock these areas. There's, I think there's um, five more areas to unlock. I think that's quite nice. Uh, do they need a road to get there? Hmm. The holding points and positions on the taxi where aircraft will exit and enter the runway. Okay. Um. Build a small stand. 
small stand. Select a variation, grass, asphalt, or concrete, where light aircrafts can park. Um, I mean, we're going to be a commercial airport, aren't we? So I think we'll go for asphalt, or is concrete better? I think asphalt, asphalt's sort of the material that you use for roads, so I think that's probably what we should go for. Um, question is where do we build that we haven't really planned any of this out have we um hmm do we put it say here i want to i want to sort of line it up there in line with that and then we can build a taxiway foundation between runway and stand. Okay. Uh, that is also going to be asphalt. I'm guessing we just sort of drag like that, do we? And then, yep. That seems okay to me. Um, build a taxiway foundation. We've done that. Build a taxiway path and connect it with the runway and stand. Uh, just like that. I think we have to go from there to there. Must be placed on a taxiway foundation or runway. Uh, have we done that the wrong way round? My bad. Uh, it looks like we're using the bulldozer already. We can go back, get the um, small stand that we wanted in asphalt. And then, yeah, we did that wrong. So that's how it should come in. And then all we need to do is connect that up to... Uh, no, uh, that up to there. Yeah, perfect. So we've done that. Uh, select at least one holding point. Holding points of positions on the taxiway where aircraft will exit and enter the runway. Aircraft will hold, wait there until the runway becomes free. Good practice is to set one holding point per runway end. Holding points can only be placed on taxiway nodes by right clicking and selecting set holding point. Okay. So, I suppose there. Seems like it worked. Yep, and then we just need to construct a ATC tower as well. Um, I think that's in structures. And what, what did it say? ATC? Is that an A? Yeah, ATC tower. Doesn't have to be anywhere in particular, I don't think. So we could. Uh, probably not there. I'm not entirely sure where it should go, to be honest. Um, I sort of feel like it should not. Oh, so if we leave three, uh, it can go there, I think. I think that'll do, because then we can have a um, another taxiway coming off up here. Yeah, I think that's correct. That's why, um, sort of what I want to do. Can't really see what's next. The next thing to do, we can sort of see, but I mean, we haven't unlocked it yet. But the next thing to do would be to open the runway. We can't open the stand yet because we don't have an airport. Or can we? No, we can. Um, open the stand and allow general aviation. Nice. Uh, open the airport. Oh, so we're just building a small airfield at the moment. Oh. So is this meant to be... What is an ATC tower? Air traffic control tower. Should have known that, ATC. Makes sense. Um, so where do people actually stand and stuff? Well, we've just literally got an airfield at the moment and we've built it miles away from the road. 
yeah, we have. Um, fantastic. We need to open the runway. Oh, it's a grass run. I, I don't think we built a grass runway, did we? Maybe we did. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Um, open the airport. Operations panel. Overview. Airport open. There we go. Select always accept. Oh, always accept all GA. That always accepts all. Um, where is that option? It did say operations, didn't it? Operations overview. Oh, oh, there it is. My bad, couldn't see that. Um, service 5G GA flights. How do we do that? Probably will tell me in the hints. There we go. Small private planes not carrying any passengers. They use your airport as parking and sometimes stay overnight. They are a good basic income source as they pay runway usage and parking fees. GA can only land and take off during daytime. Oh, so now we just have um, the airlines coming. This is uh, a little bit different, actually, to previous sort of airport sim games that I have played before. I, it's quite in-depth. I like the fact that um, there is a lot of workers out there, though, actually. We'll probably get building some stuff because we are paying them. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it's, it's a little bit different to what we've actually, well, what I've personally played before. I like the fact that you can just build an airfield and make money off having an airfield and not have any passengers. I like that you have the flexibility to do that. I can see that being sort of a, a big thing in the future, or maybe you could build like a small airfield at the back and then an airport as well. Yeah, it does possibility to do more things, I think. Um... So we're gonna just have a quick look through this here. Unlock ABGAs Economy Procurement tab. What are we awaiting unlock? ABGAs. Oh, anti spam filter you can unlock that. I think again that's see it's quite a clever little thing. IKEA. Ah. Oh, yeah, so this is um developed by a Swedish company, I believe. Uh, So that's sort of a, a little homage to them back home, as you can see with the .se as well. I wonder if you can... You can't type stuff into the browser. Worth trying. Uh, Once we research that, and then build a vehicle checkpoint, it requires a public and service road connection. Oh, so you need a public road. Oh, wow. Um, we're miles away back there. Did not plan this very well at all. I think we could... Um, what's a service road? Used for transportation inside the tarmac area. Next to the structures that require public road connections. So I believe that can, yeah, that's the difference then. Um, service roads can go on things like the uh, runway and other roads or other things, but I believe uh, public roads can't. We need to build a vehicle checkpoint, which means it requires a public and service road connection, which we've sort of just done uh service road where where is it meant to go build a vehicle depot that would probably be a good start um vehicle depot there it is right in front of me i think we're going to put that just no we're going to put it here mm, mm, mm. we could put it here I don't see why we can't have all the stuff in this area. Uh, this could be bad design. We may have to change this in the future. Just bear with me. I'm learning as well. 
and then we need to build an AVGA's 100 litre fuel depot. That one. That can go next to the vehicle depot. I think. Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, service road then. We're going to go for some more asphalt service roads. Oh, we, we've done that wrong. Delete that. Um, and then what we're going to do, we are actually going to build a vehicle depot just here and a fuel depot in fact let's um let's make sure the service road works correctly from the vehicle depot first otherwise we may have to change what we've actually just done because we sort of planned everything for this and it's not really going to work that way they are taking a long time to build stuff with notifications as well didn't show you this um Quite nice. Doesn't stop flashing unless you clear it all. Oh, we get oh, it does stop flashing. Just got new applications for staff and stuff, um, which we don't really need. I don't think that's gonna work. What? It it says we need a service road, but it also says we need a public road. I believe. To me, that looks like it takes in a public road. Okay, I'm really confused with that. Um, probably just being dumb, to be honest, but it's confusing. I like that. Build, like, sidewalks and crosswalks. I like that. The attention to detail is quite nice. Bus shelters. Vehicle checkpoint. That's car drop-off. I'm getting a little bit excited now. Um, these are things that we... I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Really no idea. Tutorial. And we're, we're still waiting for five flights to come in, aren't we? But we're trying to look slowly at this. See if we can do something different. Uh, build a vehicle checkpoint. Build service road and connect from vehicle checkpoint stands. Enables a public road to connect to a sir. Oh. Oops. Does it go like that? Does it go like that? That, that. I assume it does that, right? So we're going to need to. <laughs> no, we, we don't actually need to. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, so we are going to demolish that because apparently we uh, demolished it. But I don't know why we didn't go for the vehicle checkpoint first. It did tell us to do that first. We just didn't listen. I say we. Um, I didn't listen. But I'll blame everyone else as well because it's not just me. So we can build service roads here. I think concrete service roads are what we're meant to have. And then I think we can also uh, get in like a vehicle depot. Just I want to wait until this is built first, just to see what um, what we've got to plan with. We need to do more planning. I think I've learned from that. Yeah, so we can build fences and stuff. So I think vehicle depot would be nice there, and a fuel depot would be nice. I mean, we'll just put it next to it for now. Um, does mean we can build a fence around it though. Pretty cool. Which I am gonna do. Uh, why is that not valid? Okay. Oh, it's because I'm on that. My bad. There we go. So we've got a nice little area now, which we have all our um service stuff in. And it works pretty well, I think.
there's no real reason why we need to have a uh oh let's just yeah let's just go for that why not why not we'll just uh flesh it out a little bit so we can have a two-way road i think that'll make it easier as well for all the employees uh workers and people that are doing i do like this light on the mouse as well i do like that yeah so that looks pretty cool does that mean we've completed uh it does mean we've completed that tutorial that we can't see and now we have oh we have a new email as well receipt nice we got a receipt um we need to purchase a fuel truck in the we're going to say that again. Purchase a fuel truck in the procurement panel. Uh, procurement is somewhere. Definitely somewhere. I keep doing that. It's probably going to tell me, isn't it? Procurement panel. Operations. Vehicles. No. Um. Staff and vehicles. Yeah. Economy. Procurement. There we go. Yep. Um, so we can order a Ford fuel truck. We'll assist your airport with refueling aircraft with AVGAs. Oh, AV gas. Uh, my bad. AVGAs. Av gas. Um. While it may be slow and ineffective, it makes up for this with a charming humming noise that's sure to soothe your employees. A little bit of humour there. Uh, don't, don't really think a humming noise throughout the day of a lorry is going to be really soothing for me. But who knows? Uh, we also need to... Oh, we did we did this. And then, which means we've gone past... We can actually look at that photo now, even though we've done it. And we have, act have actually moved on to this last thing. So, we need to sign a contract with an aviation fuel supplier. We're actually earning money as well. Weird. No, okay. We were, were earning money there for a slight bit. Sign a contract with aviation fuel supplier. Economy contracts fuel supplier. Um, dip fuel. So... 0 0.04 per litre and 0 0.09 per litre. Exactly the same. They'll deliver 400,000 litres. They'll deliver 400,000 litres. 10% or less remaining. 10% or less remaining. They're sort of the same thing. That's more expensive, I believe. Uh, and they also give you less. So we're going to go for, I'm not sure, um, question is which one do I like the best? Big global corporation, leading in fuel technologies, sounds good. Originally a military supplier, we're going to go for the big global corporation, I think. Now we have to wait for the aviation fuel, fuel supplier to refill our fuel depot. I'm guessing this is it. But yeah, you can actually see the uh, fuel going in and fuel going out. I like that. That's pretty cool. Enable AVGA's refueling service. Operations panel. Overview. And that one. There we go. Perfect, we've done that. And now we need to refuel five flights. More spam email. From from the same guy as well, Dr. William Monroe. Really desperate, I think. Really desperate. Uh, we also have a... Un unless that was the email we got. Not entirely sure. We also have a receipt for our Ford truck. Okay, so if we just look then... Guessing we've re refueled that now. Um, we could build another. I think we might. Whilst we're here, we might as well build another. Um, whatever it's called. 
pretty sure that's not what it's called, but so we'll get a um, small stand in go for asphalt. And we will put that there. We can't put that there because we have to... In fact, is it because it's next to that? Or is it because it's on the... It's because it's on the road. Don't actually think that road works either. I think this is meant to be a service road. And we've just put down. Yeah, so if we see, can we put down service road? Yeah. I think that's what we we're meant to do, not this stuff. Well, doesn't really matter. It's all the same, all the same. Um, I do want to build a... Oh, do we want to go over there, though? Because then we're... I mean, yeah, we'll do it. Why not? We'll do it still. Um, we're looking for taxiway foundation. Asphalt again. How wide is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we need five wide. I'm going to go up to... 10, 5 by 10, 5 by 20, that's 6, that's 5, that's deleted, awesome, right, so I think we can open this up, I'm going to open the stand up, what's that saying, stand requires a taxiway connection, That's saying something, but I'm not sure what that means. Refueling in progress. Is that what it means? No. Uh, we open that. No, we need to give it a, a thingy. Um, we want a taxiway node. And we want that to come up here. And then across here, and then down here, and then to there. Perfect. Now I think we can open this up. And we're starting to get the hang of it, I think. Um, still don't know what that means. That's slightly worrying. It does say refueling and pro... Does it mean the fuel trucks can't get there? That may be what it means. We are going to fix that before we uh, actually do anything else. Yeah, that's my bad. This can go to... We, we don't actually need that all the way down there now, do we? Hmm. Well thought out, this idea. As you can tell. Um, it does mean that we are... Pretty, yeah, we, we've we done this awfully. Um, so that needs to be demolished as well. And then it does mean that we can build service road. From the, That looks awful. That really does look dreadful, what we've done there. But who cares? Um, so we're going to get that. And then we're going to take it round here. Uh, by two. Go to four. And we're going to bring it down here. To there, I think. And then we're going to bring it in here. And if we... Is there like a gate that we can get to go on the uh, fence? I don't think there is at the moment, you know. Fence is only decorative and serves no function yet. Oh. Oh, so it's just a decorative fence. We don't actually need it there. 
we're just doing it because we think it looks cool. Uh, service road, then we can get two asphalt in, and then we'll change it to concrete as well, just at the end. And I think that's perfect. That means the trucks can go out, and it means that we can actually complete the tutorial if the contractors finish doing what they're doing. Still need to build our airport though. That's uh, one thing that we need to do. Repair. Do we need to repair it? Is that what we need to do? No, I assume not. Just says car question mark. Not sure what that means. Yeah, it must have been the, the fuel truck couldn't get there. Now it can, obviously, so there's no need for it to be there anymore. This looks hideous. I think we will fix that. Um, but I'm not sure when. Or... We didn't really... See, the thing is, we didn't really plan this out very well. And we're regretting that decision right now. Because of the way it looks. Um, but I am enjoying this game. I must say, I do like the complexity within it. And how much more there is to go. I mean, look. Nice flight planner there. Flight delay action. There's uh, loads of contracts we can take in. Other stuff like the economy, uh, loans, budget, procurement. Staff and vehicles, operations, everything that we still haven't touched yet. We've got construction, job tasks, applicants. So if we look here, we have, I don't think we have any staff yet, do we? But we have like a board that's vacant, um, committees. Oh, committees is staff and stuff. My bad. Uh, shifts. So we have like, staff shifts and everything like that then employees oh it's all within one my bad it's um yeah so i'm still sort of getting used to it as well as you can see but there's there's loads of stuff in the game there's still stuff we haven't touched such as all these here so like airport screens to show passengers on arrival check-in desks info desks like actually building the airport we haven't got around to doing that yet um Again, we can toggle all the different zones and rooms. This it just there's a lot here um, for an early access game. There could be more. However, I know they've been working on this for a long time, and I appreciate the detail the detail they are putting into the game, especially at such an early stage to focus on some of the um, the lesser details to make sure the game's polished. Um, and people can enjoy the experience and then build upon that. I think that's quite important instead of trying to chuck everything into it and then going, well, you know, it's not the most enjoyable game to play, but it's got loads of stuff in it. I'd rather have a game that's really enjoyable to play but doesn't have as much stuff in it and it can be built upon. And I think that's definitely the direction this game is going in. I do also think we're going to be uh, completing this tutorial very soon. If this flight leaves, maybe. Is that, no, is that the truck coming now? So here comes the truck. Is this going to be our fifth refuel? Or maybe this will be our fifth refuel. No, we have done it. We've completed the tutorial, which means I believe now we can move on to building a regional airport. So we're going to leave it there, guys. Uh, that's what we're actually going to be doing in the next episode. We're going to be building that regional airport. And we're going to see, really, what what's going to happen, what, what we can do, where we can go from here. We may need to restructure some things because the way we've set this airport out is pretty horrific and horrendous at the moment. Um, if I was in charge of building an airport... Well, I have, I have been in charge of building an airport. We'll just put that out there. But if I was in charge of building an airport... I don't think I would be in charge of building an airport four days into it, like I still am. We'll leave it on that note, I think. <laughs>